Hey everyone and welcome to my OpenStack tutorial series. In this third video, I will show you how to configure basic networking that will allow you to access your OpenStack instances via SSH and how to make sure your instances are set properly so they can access the internet. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on the upcoming videos in this OpenStack series. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post in the comments under the video. To begin, let's go ahead and log into our OpenStack Horizon dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as an admin. And once you're logged in, go ahead and make sure that you are into your demo project. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure to click on this demo here. And once you confirm that you're in a demo project, let's go ahead and click on instances and make sure that you have at least one running instance. In my case, I have two of them. The next thing I'm going to do is go over and show you my current networking situation. So I'm going to open my terminal here, and this is my iMac that I'm currently recording on. And I'm going to go ahead and do if config. And this actually gives too much information. So let's go ahead and clear this. And I'm going to say if config, and I'm going to grab dash W, and I will grab for INET. And that will give me all the IP addresses that are associated with this machine. And as you can see, currently this iMac lives on this 192.168.0 network. Then if I go here in my OpenStack and I go ahead and click on my network and then network topology, you will see that this test one, test two machines live on this private network, which is 10.0.0.0 network. And you're probably guessing by now that I won't be able to access my instances from this 192.168.0 network or from this iMac computer. So let's go one step further. So I'm going to go from this iMac computer and I'm going to SSH into my OpenStack server, which is 192.168.0.5. And it's the server that is actually hosting OpenStack. So let's go there and see what the situation there is. So I'm going to say Ubuntu at 192.168.0.5. And I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to pull up the same. So I'm going to say F config and then I'm going to grip for INET. And it seems like I don't have net tools installed. So let's go ahead and instead of if config, let's just do IP space A. And there you go. So as you can see now on this machine, we actually have IP on this 192.168.0 network, but we also have a second IP, which is a bridge on this 172.24.4 network. And if you look down here, this is our public network on our open stack. So this network, the 172.24.40 network will be the network that will help us to access our instances that currently live on this private network. And to get that to work, what we need to do is go to our instance. So I'm going to go back to compute, go to instances, and then I'm going to select my instance too. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down button, and I'm going to click on associate floating IP. I currently don't have any floating IPs available. If you click down here, you'll see I have no floating IPs available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here so I can create one. You can leave the default settings here unless you have more pools, but currently I only have one. So if you're doing this demo project like me, you're most likely going to have only one. So just go ahead and leave the defaults and click on allocate IP. And what this will do is it will generate IP from that 172.24.4 network. And then we have to associate that IP with the private IP of our instance, which in this case is 10.0.0.56. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Associate. And once this is done, you're going to see that our instance now has two IPs. So technically, we should be able to ping this instance from our OpenStack host and we should get a reply. Now there's one more thing that we need to do because by default, all the ports are closed on the OpenStack. So we're gonna need to go ahead and open ports for ICMP on our security group so we can actually ping that machine. So to do that, we need to go here to network and then go to security groups and go click on manage rules. And then from here, we're going to add a couple of rules. So the first one is going to be for ICMP. So we can do troubleshooting and we can ping this instance. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. You can leave the rest to the defaults. Go ahead and click add. And I'm going to go ahead and add a second rule. And that will be for SSH. That way we can SSH remote into our instance. So go ahead and click add. And now that we have these two rules added to our security group, we can go ahead and try to ping the instance. So I'm going to go here to grab its IP. 
So again, we're going to need to use this 172.24.494 IP since this is the IP that is located on this public network that is accessible from our OpenStack host machine. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go ahead and ping. And as you can see, we get a reply. And based on that, we can assume that if we go ahead here and replace the ping with SSH, and as we said earlier, the user for these uh, Cirrus instances is Cirrus, so C-I-R-R-S. Oh, I have this extra space here, and the password is go, cubs, go. And there you go, you're in. I can go ahead and cat the Etsy OS release. And as you can see, we're into our Cirrus instance and we're connected to it from our host. But what happens if we try to connect to it from my Mac, which is a computer on the same network, but it's not the computer that actually hosts OpenStack. And we can give it a try, but we pretty much know that we won't be able to get to it. Because as you can see from here, this computer only knows about this 192.168 network. So how are we gonna get this to work? The easiest way to do that is to go ahead and set up a static route. So what I'm gonna show you next is specific to my Orbi router, but the idea behind it will be the same with any router. So to be able to do it, you're gonna to need to go and find the documentation for your router and figure out how to set up a static route. So to set up a static route on an Orbi router, all you need to do is log into your Orbi router and then go to advanced, advanced setup, and then click on static routes. And once you're here, you can go ahead and add a route. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add. Make sure that you have active checked. And then here in destination IP, we can go ahead and enter the IP of that network. So we're gonna do 172.24.4.0. So 172.24.4.0. And then for an IP subnet mask, we can do 255, 255, 255. And for gateway IP, that will be our OpenStack server. So that will be 192.168.05. So we can go down here and say 192.168.05. And for metrics for the Orbi router, three is good. But if you're using a different router and if you need to enter metrics, make sure that you check with the documentation of your router to see what that value should be. Once you have all that entered, you can give your route a name. I'm gonna call mine OpenStack. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Uh, invalid subject mask. Oh, I'm missing the zero here. So I'll go ahead and add this zero and then go ahead and click apply. And once once this gets set, you can go back and now we're gonna try to ping again and we should get reply. And there you go, as you can see, we're getting, and go ahead and stop this, but as you can see, we are able to ping our instance that is on our Oracle Cloud, which is this one here. So let's go ahead and try to SSH into it, just to make sure that SSH works as well. We'll go ahead. So again, I'm running that from my Mac that again, if we do this here, you're gonna see that it has no idea where that 10.0.0 nor that 172.24.4 networks are, but gets to them because of that static route that we just created. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna say SSH and the username is C-I-R-O-S and here's that IP and there you go. Go ahead and say yes here and go cubs go and i'm into that instance so this is how you're going to want to set up your network so your instances are accessible from every other machine on your network and you can do the same thing for your other instance all you need to do is at this point just go ahead and associate a floating ip and you should be able to access your other instance so one thing that i want to show you here is by default when you create an instance on openstack and if you use this demo project you won't be able to go out on the internet and access things. Like for example, if I go ahead and try to ping Google from here, so google.com, as you can see, I see name or service not known. And that is because the DNS by default is not configured and it doesn't know how to get to Google. Now, just to prove to you that your machine already has internet, but it's just the DNS, then it's not working. If I go ahead from my Mac and ping Google from here, and as you can see, I can ping it from my Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Google's IP. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try to ping Google from here, from my instance on the OpenStack, and it's not working. I wonder why. Oh, because I copied the wrong IP. So let's go ahead and copy the full IP. And I'm gonna go ahead and ping it. 
And as you can see, we get replies from Google, which suggests that we do have access to the internet. It's just that our DNS is not working. Now to get that issue with the DNS fixed, all you need to do is go back to your OpenStack Horizon dashboard. And then from here, you can go ahead and click on network and then go to networks. And since we are using this private network and go ahead and click on private. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and click on subnets. And I'm using this IP version 4 subnet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit subnet. And then here you can go and click on subnet details tab. And as you can see, there is no DNS name server here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a DNS name server. I'm just going to add Google's DNS, but you can use any DNS server of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and say ed.a.a.8 here. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now once this is saved, the next thing you need to do is you're going to have to restart your instances. Now, every new instance that joins this private subnet will have DNS set up, but the current instances that are running, they will not. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off these two instances. And I'm going to go ahead and start them again. And once you have your instances back up and running, you can go ahead and try to SSH again. So let's say SSH, C I R O S, at, and we said the IP for this instance would be 172.24.4.94. Go ahead and say yes. And then the password again, we said it's go cubs go. And if I go ahead now and ping Google, it should work. So G O O G L E dot com. And there you go. I'm getting replies from Google. And this is it. So this is how you set up a basic networking on this demo project on OpenStack and also how you get the DNS fixed on your instances so you can access sites on the internet from them. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when next video is available. As always, if you have any questions or comments, post under the video. Thank you for watching.